And the remaining physics we can apply to the situation is that momentum is conserved. So this is the steady state macroscopic momentum balance. It says that the rate of change of momentum, which is zero at steady state, is equal to a convective term and the sum of the forces. Now the forces in this kind of a problem are the pressure forces, the forces on the solid walls, including the viscous forces, and gravity. So in the current problem, we are neglecting gravity, and pressure is constant throughout. So all we have is the vector force on the walls, which we'll follow G and Coppolis and call R, and the convective terms. We can write the convective terms in terms of the mass flow rate because rho A V is equal to the mass flow rate. We can take beta equal one, as we took previously alpha equal one, the alpha of the mechanical energy balance, and this is due to turbulent flow. So the beta is one. This uh, V hat is the direction of the velocity at each of the surfaces. And the cosine theta for a given surface is the angle between the outwardly pointing unit normal and the direction of the velocity. So this is the angle theta. So now we can apply this for the three streams that make up our flow and for that R vector, which is the force on the wall that we're looking for. We don't know the direction of R, but we know there is a force on the wall. So now proceeding with the macroscopic momentum balance, we have minus rho A V squared cosine theta V hat all at the one surface. plus minus rho a v squared cosine theta v hat at the two surface plus minus rho a v squared cosine theta v hat at the three surface. Those are the three convective terms, plus the force on the wall due to viscosity and other forces equals zero. So we need to know these various angles. And we, to do that, we need to go back and look at the drawing. So what we have here is this surface. And so the outwardly pointing unit normal is N1. And N1 is just minus EX, so N1 is equal to minus one zero zero. And here we have a unit normal vector N2. So that is a unit normal vector like this. So if we decompose that into our coordinate system, okay, uh, this is sine of alpha. This is alpha, so this is sine of alpha. Alpha here is now my angle. I apologize for using alpha twice. And this is cosine alpha. So the vector we're looking for is in the first quadrant. It has an x coefficient of sine alpha. It has a y coefficient of cos alpha. And z is nothing's happening in the z direction, and so we get the unit normal vector in the two direction. The unit normal direction in th uh, that is outwardly pointing at the three plane is just the minus of the one at the two plane, so N3 is minus sine alpha minus cos alpha zero. So the angles theta we need as well. The angle theta is the angle between the unit vector in the direction of the velocity at the one surface. So the angle between these two is 180. So cosine of 180 is minus one. 
the angle theta is the angle between the unit normal vector in the direction of the velocity at the two surface and the outwardly pointing unit normal at the two surface, which is zero, and cosine of zero is one. And theta three is the angle between the unit vector at the three surface in the direction of velocity and the outwardly pointing unit normal N three. That's also zero, so cosine theta three is also one. V two is parallel to N two, V three is parallel to N three, and we've written those two vectors, and V one is just equal to the V hat at the one location is just the EX vector, one, zero, zero. With all that information, we can now write the complete macroscopic momentum balance equation. So let's do it. The density is the same throughout, and I'm going to combine rho A V as M. So this will be M1 times V. So I have minus one times M1 times V at surface one. There's minus minus m times v and then times the unit vector at surface one, which is one zero zero. Plus this term, which is minus m two times v times v hat two. V hat two is equal to n two. So we have plus plus a minus m2 v at 2 times the unit vector n2 which is sine alpha cos alpha 0. The third term is a minus the m3 times v at the three surface, minus M3 times V times a one times V3, and V3 is parallel to N3, so it's times minus sine alpha minus cos alpha zero. Plus R. We have a bit more work to do, I'll continue this in the next video.